we're not gonna take those off yet actually what we're gonna do is just get the transmission on done here get that out get out of this one as well that's funny they both didn't have starters now we'll drop this one down drop this one down um I think I am gonna get stuff out of here. Get some stuff out, I should say. Uh, we'll go up to 99. That way, there we got. Where did all. Oh, these came off the uh, Ford. No, I ain't gonna mess with that right now. Actually, you know what? Nah, I ain't gonna do that. I was gonna save a video clip and then just re uh, or get back to it when I got done clearing that out. But we'll just continue on with this. So motors got them out. That's what's going on. There goes that, so we're gonna get in here, get radiator C out, get the battery out, brake servo, now, did I buy two of them already? Yes, I did, perfect. I have a feeling the uh, shaker and the uh, OHV Hemi are set up very similar. Charge those up. Get them back in. Wrong one, dingus. There we go. Alright, there's that one. And then that one now. Let's see what we got here. that up in the air, put that back over there so I can get through here, that up, I might take the mirrors off this thing and do them chrome, but I ain't gonna do that now, oh, that works, Calipers. Uh, four of those.
I think it'd be the same on both. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll find out. Um, and then I know where I need that. And then we're going to need 24 of these things. Hoping this video don't turn out to be too long, but uh, trying to work as quick as I can. So that'll be B, front sway bar B. guessing both cars are going to have B on them, but I could be wrong. And how this uh, Barracuda is looking. Come on. There we go. Alright, now it's time to rip the front end out of this thing. Looks like it's basically the same. So the front end's basically looking the same on both of them. The only difference is the cross member. Which honestly, I kind of thought because they were both Plymouth, they'd have the cross member D in both of them, but. Oh well, it is what it is. As long as my inventory don't fill up, then we're good. But like I said in the last video, I plan on getting the Ram DLC here very soon, so 
We'll have more trucks and whatnot to work on. forgot about the springs. They're shock absorbers. Alright. That truck does look pretty sweet. However, I am thinking about changing the color because the one on my sandbox world is, uh, dark blue as well it's a different kind of blue but the point is they're both dark blue so I bought the truck in silver so I might throw that back on there and just see what it looks like but I don't know see that won't be in the video here but That'll be something I do on the side. Because I really haven't been doing much on this game when I'm not doing uh, YouTube videos. It's mainly been doing videos on all the DLC cars and whatnot. I did, like I said in the one video, I did end up doing a Pagani to get some money. And I didn't uh, record that, but we will definitely be doing a Pagani here soon. Because I'll tell you what, they destroy the bank, but then... Once you're done with them and you sell them, they give you a shit ton of money. I feel like this video is going to be stupid long. I hope it ain't, but what are you going to do? It's only bad part about uh, doing these is when I'm building a car, I just get lost in doing it. I don't even... pay attention to anything going on around me or whatever I just kind of go quiet do the build and get her done But uh, the first F-350 I came across was on Sandbox, like I said in the previous video. Uh, I think it was the last one, actually, on the F-350. Um, but anywho, I got that, and I got it at auction. It only had a thousand-something miles on it, and I was planning on leaving it. The way it was. It was 1,158 miles. I was planning on leaving everything in it. Just I rebuilt the motor. What not. So I was going to just keep it that way. Well, then I ended up getting underneath it. And uh, <laughs> redoing everything. I mean... From the rear to the front, I did 
the suspension cross member, shocks, all that stuff. So basically made it a brand new truck, even though everything was still at, uh, still in the green. It, nothing was lower than 95%, but I just wanted to redo it anyway. Forgetting a lot here, that's why. So I actually did more than I planned, but that's all right. So this thing is set. Now all we got to do on this one is drop the motor and she's set to go. So we're going to look at tires for this beast right here. It's run 215s all the way around. So uh, we're going to keep a vintage race tire on it. I'm thinking Roadrunner rim. So we'll get them. Off, so we'll get the tire off the rim. Oh, wait, no, that's not what I wanted. I want that. That rim ain't going to be able to be fixed. So, I think we're going to go again to 45 in the rear. Two forty-five seventy R15. I just noticed they uh, made that tire based off of a BF Goodrich, but instead they call it BF Great Roll. <laughs> okay, so we gotta buy. 15 inch Roadrunner rims. Yep. It's a good thing I remembered the size because I went and sold the tires. There's the front two. Uh, no, that's not what we want. We want this. So, <sighs> where are you, Roadrunner rims? There we go. I think we'll leave them the uh, stock color chrome in the center and white on the outside all right let's see if a 245 will fit in the rear
Don't look like it, but it does. Now hopefully that Hemi don't put out a ridiculous amount of power because if it does then we're going to be screwed in this case and I'm going to have to run drag slicks. But we should be alright. Why did I take that off the rim? What am I doing? I think we... Got another 245 here. Yep. And then real quick, I'm going to go in here and buy all the parts for it. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to go in here. And then, nope, kind of figured. So yeah, we definitely did more than I anticipated, but that's alright. At least we're getting it done. And hopefully it ain't too long of a video. I don't know if that's a hundred percent, but okay. Alrighty, so I guess we'll uh, get this thing painted up real quick, and then that will be the end of this part. Like I said, I'm doing this on the 28th, but it'll be up the 29th, and then part two of the Plymouth builds will be out on the 30th, depending on how patient I am. <laughs> I'm just going to lighten this thing up here so we can see the liveries. Okay, that's pretty nice. Um thinking we're gonna cut it down to 65 and do like a purple now I don't want that bright we want it kind of
That'll work, I guess. I know, I'm going with very odd colors on these muscle cars, but I got lime green and purple. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. I definitely am going to change up uh, the rims on here, I think, so, but that will be in the next video. Um, I'll probably be getting three videos out tomorrow because I kind of want to get these things moving along get them in to storage and uh yeah but that's gonna be it for this one hopefully you guys enjoyed drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more of these dlc car builds restorations whatever we do um but yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one What's up guys, Redneck Gamer 13 here, and uh, I'm back at it in the Redneck Garage of the two Plymouths here, and uh, I was starting on this one here, and I got the truck repainted, as you can see, it's not blue anymore, it's like a nice silver, um, but then I got a phone call, and I was going to keep going, but then I realized, wait, I have an upchurch song as my ringtone so I had to get rid of that video clip because I don't want another copyright strike so the first one I got was god probably two years ago now and I forgot to turn off my radio when I started a video and just kept going with the radio playing I don't know what the hell I was thinking but yeah I got copyright strike for like three different songs so that was fun but anywho let's jump right into this so as you guys probably saw in the last video the rims were kind of i don't know they didn't go good with the color of the car they're the plain jane uh Roadrunner rims. So I think they're 15s. Yes. So I think I have a good rim we can use. Uh, okay, the Mustang Mach 1 rims would look really sweet on this car, but that's Ford. We're doing Plymouth. So I'm thinking these ones right here will look uh, pretty sweet on the car. I was going to wait to do... I was going to do the videos like all in a separate day. Or I was going to upload the F-350 video that I did uh, tomorrow. Which is 29th again. I know I said it in the past three damn videos. If you watched them all. Um, but no. The three videos that I've done tonight so far are going up tomorrow on the 29th. So part one and part two of the Barracuda and the Roadrunner. And then the F-350 video, which, you know, was just a build on that, because, as you guys can see, I kind of broke the rules, I went and bought it brand new, it's only got two miles on it, I know, I broke the damn rules, which, by the way, I could sell this truck for 300 and, oh wait, no, it's actually got more value in it, because I put more miles on, how the hell does that even work, whatever, Or is it the fact that it's a factory color? That's the ultimate question. I 
Okay, so we're good there. Those are all taken care of. I'm thinking these are gonna look pretty sweet on the car. Hopefully they do. If not, well, too bad, I guess, because I can't be dicking around with rims trying to find the right ones here. Not right now. I got to get these cars set so the videos can be out for you guys and they're not too long, which I shouldn't be dinking around with rims right now because it's going to make the video longer and, uh, well, building two motors ain't exactly going to take five minutes, so. Mainly because I haven't built them yet. So, it's going to be rough. I guess while we're waiting for that, we'll get these rims on the... These rims and tires on the car here. Don't look, not yet. <laughs> Got to get them all on there, see what they are going to look like. That's a 215. So we're going to get that on the front. Wait, is it 215? Yes, it is. Had to double check. Oh, yeah. That was definitely a lot better. I'm hoping those are right. I was trying to make sure the width is correct. Because for some reason I gotta double check everything right now. I don't know why, but get rid of those. Um, now I guess we will get into building the engines. Now this has got the V8 OHV Hemi shaker and I guess we will do the shaker first. Same for that, so we'll go O H V C. Almost having trouble building these things now. Because I haven't been, I mean, I've been building a lot of old motors, but uh, I've been doing them few and far in between, so 
every time I go to one, it's a whole new thing for me. <laughs> Alright, so I did get that, didn't I? Yes, I did. I know I didn't get the timing chain. Damn it. filter which is yellow I don't know hopefully we can get enough chrome on this thing because this orange I'm gonna be honest with you guys I absolutely hate it I, I think it makes it look like a piece of shit I think I got rid of the uh, fuel filter there. Yep, I did. So, time to go into here. Get fuel filter. And then, I'm pretty sure it will be the I6B alternator. And then I don't know what it takes for the power steering pump. V8 OHVF. That makes sense. Uh, <laughs> There's that. Huh. Okay. That's weird. Water pump pulley, damn it. Serpentine belts. There we go. There's that. Now we need a radiator fan B. Is actually going fairly quick. Now, what kind of pistons do we need? V8 OHVC. Hopefully, you can get them aftermarket because I'm going to be mad if you can't. Hell yeah, here we go. Oh, you need rings, dumbass. <laughs> Eight of those, and then while we're in here, I'll grab rod caps. Need eight of them, and then crankshaft bearing cap. 
Oh wait, no. We only need three of those, I'm pretty sure. V-A-O-H-V-H. That's pretty obvious, I guess, because, you know, H, Hemi, but, uh, B. Wow, okay, it's got different color, uh, springs there. That's, uh, interesting. Gonna need okay valve push rods. I'm just gonna grab sixteen just in case. Forgot the spark plugs. Uh, eight of those. like 16 is going to be the number here for the uh, valve push rods come on valve push rods are my least favorite thing to do that's for sure Yes, two of them. Engine head cover. Hey, that can't be right. There, it ain't two. I know damn well it ain't. Cause it, that would mean it has the oil thing in the other side too which it don't those headers or exhaust manifold whatever you want to call them do not look weird at all <laughs> Now I forgot what I was coming in here for. Okay, intake manifold. I'm gonna take two four barrel carbs. It's hard to say. I have to do it from the side here so we don't have as much of a glare because I can't see what I'm doing from up there.
Engine head cover B. Oh, it was over here. I was missing it the whole damn time. I was right, though. I knew it wouldn't take, uh... Two of the same head covers. power boost is going to supply this one. Wow. I am surprised. I don't have a shaker anymore, what the hell? That's, that's a nice motor. Definitely liking this motor. flywheel and all that stuff done. The main reason I like the motor is because it's a shaker and because there's a lot of aftermarket for it. I mean, the only thing really stock on this thing is the block, uh, timing, chain, you know, ti uh, cam gear, crankshaft, um, Valve push rods. And then, of course, you know, you have your covers and stuff like that, but that really don't matter if it's aftermarket or not, because that ain't doing nothing. Not, of course, your oil band here. Which I would say ain't doing nothing, but it is. <laughs> But really, aftermarket, that don't really matter when it comes to uh, an oil pan, because an oil pan is an oil pan. Ah, shit. Wrong car. I think you can only put the 426 Hemi in this one. Hmm. That's interesting. It ain't getting any other motor than a Hemi, but... Uh, 
Alright, uh, I guess while we're right here, we'll do the oil. Hopefully that air scoop don't get in the way. <laughs> well, definitely is in the way, as you can see. In real life, you'd be dumping oil everywhere, but, you know. Oh, shit. Okay, so now it's time to jack this beast up. I can't wait to see what this thing can do. What it makes for power. I'm really pumped for that. Now all we gotta do is throw the interior in this thing and the CUDA is done. Makes me happy because I hate to see this car sit and do nothing, so. Uh, we'll get rid of that. Now when it comes to interior, we got, we'll type in, we'll go with CUDA because I don't think uh, Hemi will bring anything up. I can go down now. Then I guess we'll uh, slap the interior in the road runner here quick. That's interesting. Let's try runner. Does it really not have much? Like, what the hell? I guess we'll go with this steering wheel on this one too. Okay, so it just takes two uh, benches, that's all. Which I kind of don't like that. I'd like to have the whole two separate seats in the front going on, but... That's all right. Nope, oh, wrong one. All right, I do not like that whatsoever, but <laughs> it's funny because I just got to thinking, I said I was going to go like a Fast and Furious style on this thing, and now I got it purple. But oh well, that is what it is. Um, Alright, so, I'm going to save this video clip.
And uh, when we get back going here, we'll start doing the OHV Hemi for this thing. So I guess real quick, I'll at least get it up on here. That it registers that that's what I want to build. And we'll get to that. And alrighty, I will be right back with you guys. <laughs> 